सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी इन यू के वेलकम टू दिस वेबिनार ऑन एना कार्डीएसी फैमिली इट्स अ प्रिविलेज टू एड्रेस द वंडरफुल एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूट इन द वर्ल्ड मिशा नॉर्लैन कॉलेज द स्कूल ऑफ होम्योपैथी एंड लेट एस बिगिन विथ द famous homeopathic remedy marking nut i have a little different way of uh, explaining materia medica i usually love to explain remedies from my clinical experience where the focus will be more on the delusions dreams because physical symptoms are very easy to understand and one can always read from materia medica textbook but mental symptoms are little difficult to understand especially delusion and dream and hence one needs to understand in great detail why such a delusion why such a dream is existing the second part of the webinar would be explanation of the whole ana cardiaceae family and finally i'll be describing the dream analysis not all the dreams but the most prominent dreams of the remedy okay so let us begin this presentation so the main cyber delusion is that a devil is speaking in one year an angel is speaking in another year and that prompts him to do murder or acts of benevolence now this statement was taken from herring's guiding symptom and this is one of the most famous delusion of anacardium which will explain to us everything about the remedy and that is why it becomes a central delusion or it becomes the main delusion so over here you will see one year and another year so from the very beginning you see a division from the very beginning you see a dissociation and this remedy is full of dissociation carl jung in his psychology has mentioned a lot about the theory of dissociation and every homeopathic remedy especially the polycres that you are going to study will have multiple dissociations in their proving and every student of homeopathic college should be accustomed to understand all the dissociation given in the remedy by identifying the rubric so let us see this one devil in one year angel in another prompting him to do murder or act of benevolence here this delusion indicates a severe mental stress a situation where person is under too much mental pressure and he is about to break he is about to break psychologically and so before he breaks before he gives up as a buffer mechanism many delusions can crop up and so here you will see a dissociation and the dissociation is between a devil and an angel devil stands for destruction and angel stands for act of benevolence sympathy or humanity now why these kinds of dissociations are required why this kind of buffering mechanisms are required it is only required to prevent insanity to prevent loss of control over your will or 
to prevent severe form of psychosis in future. So before you develop psychosis, before you develop a very severe mental illness, the body has a buffer mechanism to dissociate. And this is what happens with many remedies. In anacardium, it is always one with devil and another with angel. Let us go further into this detail by studying more materia medica and you'll understand purely about this kind of dissociation. Certainly, this is a person suffering from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde complex from an inner conflict into bracket contradiction between reason and will. So here, when you are talking about devil and angel, you are actually having contradiction between a reason and the will. There is a split personality. Now everything that I have written in the red line are direct sentences taken from Herring's guiding symptom. Feels and thought he had two wills, one commanding to do what others forbids. Thinking he is double, duality, sense of. See, what I was talking about dissociation, five minutes back, has now come directly into the delusion. He is double and there is a sense of uh, duality. Now, there are many remedies in these kind of rubrics of duality, and what is known as double. In duality, you will see remedies like Baptitia and Petroleum, which comes very close to Anacardium. They are able to demonstrate totally opposite behavior unexpectedly without any apparent reason from act of goodness to the most evil acts known to mankind. Now, this is not only seen in adults, but it is also seen in pediatric age group. So let's for an example, a child is sitting very timidly in the lap of the mother, very quiet. Suddenly, out of the blue, without any known reason, the child will start biting the mother or hitting the mother and very badly, very harshly, very forcefully, very violently. And the mother will feel, oh, suddenly what happened? Now, this is what exactly happens in a personality that belongs to an cardium. Let's go further. Worse, Anacardium has no control over who will win the battle, the devil or the angel, the bad or the good. He suffers from a mental schism. There are moments in which he enjoys doing harm, yet he is then overcome with guilt. So, so, there is contradiction of will, there is duality, there is dissociation, but if he takes the other part of destruction, it is immediately followed by guilt. So, anacardium, according to me, causes a situation of disinhibition. These are the thoughts all of us can have in passing, but that normally are inhibited. So, you understood? Many times in our day-to-day -day life, in our day-to-day -day relationship, when we are angry, when we are disturbed, we always have two feelings. Whether should we fight or should we not fight? Whether we should speak up something or rather keep quiet? And then there is definitely a conflict between the two ideas. But as the time goes, the control that we have on our emotions, this thing can pass off in a normal individual. But these things will never ever pass off with an anacardium personality. With anacardium, these thoughts persevere in the back of the mind 
and the struggle starts between control and loss of control when some of these thoughts are released without his consent or intention at the most inportune moments. So this is very important. Even the person doesn't know why he behaved like that. And then he feels, goes into a guilt complex and says, oh, I should not have done, I don't know what happened to me. I had no control over me. As if something else in my body has taken control over me. And who was that? The devil. So this is the situation that I want to impress you upon. So if you look at the rubric anger with himself, you will see anacardium. If you see antagonism with himself, you will see anacardium. If you will see reproaches oneself, you will see anacardium. But if you look at this Dr. Jekyll and Hyde type, that there is a devil in one year and angel in another year, you should take the rubric thoughts two trains off. Thoughts two trains off. And then delusion devil speaking in one year, prompting to mother, angel in another year, prompting to act of benevolence. The only remedy is anacardium. But remember, along with this rubric, you have to also understand voices hearing. He must follow the voices. Voices hearing. He must follow the voices. The other remedies are lachesis and thuja. Please remember that. Lachesis and thuja. He must follow the voices. He is overcome by rage and panic, leading to sudden violent rage. So violent he could have stabbed someone. A raging storm, which is an expression of anacardium dark side. The more he loses the battle between good and evil, the more his heart hardens, which is symbolic of his name, anacardium. Why? Because it is derived from in Greek. An means without. A-N-N -N means without or not. And the Latin cor or heart combining to mean without a heart without a heart and at some stage following one moral defeat of another anacardium may reach a point of no return unless liberated by homeopathic doses of anacardium so he commits one crime after another second crime after another and he will never come back to normal he will never come back to normal unless you treat him with potentized anacardium. Anacardium is possessed by his cyber delusion and is scarcely able to achieve his real identity amid the tremendous pressure and chaos it creates. There is a constant fight between it and I. Sometimes the I vanquishes and reigns over it. And at other time, it overwhelms the I. Part of this is because anacardium is delusion. He is under superhuman control. So look at this rubric. Delusion, superhuman control he is under. Look at this rubric. Now this rubric is very, very important in today's world. There are other remedies like agaricus is there in this particular rubric. Some snake remedies like Naja, Lachesis, Thuja will be there. Now, who is this superhuman? That is very important. Superhuman is a strong personality. He could be the coach of football team or a rugby team. He could be a guru. He could be a teacher. He could be a minister. He could be a religious man, a priest. Or he could be a controlling husband or a controlling father or a controlling parent who is strong, who has so much power. And that person is influencing this canacardium in a very big way and is under that spell. He is under that spell. If you remember in fairy tales, we used to see how the witch used to put spell on the innocent people. Similarly, anacardium becomes in the grip of the spell 
of that super human control remember that and that is why most of the anacardium person belongs to a certain sect belong to a certain group or they are victim of certain group and sect where this kind of situation will arise don't think that such a delusion only appears at the end of severe pathology sometimes such a cyber delusion is expressed at a young age i had a beautiful 8 year old girl as a patient who was extremely cruel and unfeeling towards her mother but fearful of and obedient to her alcoholic father when i asked her why she behaved this way she answered i can't help it someone makes me to do it expressing the delusion of being under the influence of powerful being a sort of possession by primitive impulses and urges that is why you will see anacardium under the rubric delusion being possessed it's a very large rubric where mancinella is a very big remedy very powerful remedy mancinella followed by hyoscyamus so people who are being possessed and as i told you an example of that mother and the child who starts biting look at another example she was afraid of her father but she is very obedient to her father and fearful of her father but with the mother the worst and the most un, most cruel behavior and when you ask her she says i don't know what happens to me you know at that time i have been possessed something comes and grips me so this is so important of anacardium remember that the anacardium patient seems to be a victim at least as far as kind of etiology is concerned but he certainly doesn't act like a victim he has want of moral feeling he often curses and does physical violence without any remorse our materia medica says that the devil speaks in one ear and the angel in another but when the devil wins the patient feels no remorse and performs the requested deed with no scruples so if you look under moral feeling want of you will see anacardium you will see belladonna hyoscyamus all solanaceae family comes basically in that particular rubric and if you look under cursing anacardium is a three mark remedy along with nitric acid in the rubric cursing when the good voice or the angel regains ground in his mind the patient feels terrible afterwards so i told you there is a guilt but at that time when he is doing the act he has no guilt after the act is over after the murder is over after the violence is over a tremendous guilt comes up the continuous and horrific battle expressed by cyber delusion is also expressed by the delusion he thinks he is demonical and look at this six lines which herring guiding symptom mentions think he is demonical the devil whispers blasphemous words delusion of being double delusion someone is in bed with him look at this is such a very important rubric delusion someone is in bed with him now there are many remedies in that particular uh, situation baptisia will be there pulsatilla will be there opium will be there petroleum will be there and a devil sits in her neck and tells him most offensive thing so devil sits in her neck and tells him most offensive thing delusion strange figures accompanying him one is on his right and other is on his left being possessed he is three person now see here he is three person and he is possessed of two wills so when you talk about three person again petroleum will come in a very big way i tell you many delusions of anacardium and petroleum are so similar you need to differentiate these remedies i'm telling you that so read this six seven lines of herring they will tell you everything about dissociation within the remedy which i talked in the initial slides clearly many of the proven delusions of anacardium are additional expression and confirmations 
of our cyber delusion, revealing a lack of control and much confusion in the patient's behavior as well as a fixed idea of separation from the world. Because the battle between the two wills, the will lead to an obstructed personality, a lack of ego growth or individuation or what we would call a psychic arrest. Now see, this is so much important. Let us understand this slide. First thing, lack of control. Now when you don't have much control over your impulses, what can happen? You will develop confusion. What should I do this or should I not do this? That will invite a very big confusion. As a result, slowly and slowly, over a period of months and years, he develops certain fixed ideas. And these fixed ideas are separation from the world. Now, delusion, he is separated, separated from the world. All this thing, you should think of a remedy, what is known as hydrogen comes and can come in a very, very big way. Malavesi's family can come in a very big way. Drug remedies can come in a very big way. It's a very, very important situation which is shared by many remedies. And why do you separate from the world? Because there is a constant battle between the two wills. And when there is a battle between the two wills, the personality does not grow. It becomes retarded. There is, a, there is a blockage of the ego. The ego does not grow. The ego does not develop. And this is what we call a psychic rest in the language of Jungian psychology. So if you read the rubrics, wills, two wills, sensation as if he had commanding what one forbids another, I think so the only remedy will be anacardium in the repertory. Even a partial loss of contact with reality engenders a profound sense of insecurity, irresolution and abandonment closely resembling the atmosphere of a nightmare. In conventional medicine, such a child may receive many diagnoses ranging from autism or autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, selective autism, Tourette syndrome, and infantile polar disease. So basically, in pediatric age group, children who need anacardium belongs to one of these clinical diagnoses. Why? Profound insecurity, lot of confusion with irresolution and abandonment. Who wants to make friendship with such a child? Who wants to love such a child? Who has this kind of violence? So slowly the abandonment will take place. And this is how the disease can develop. One of my patients with autism strongly exhibited this battle between bad and good by creating an alter ego. And the alter ego was Draco, a character from a YouTube baby TV channel. A goofy, happy and cute dragon that plays with a ball. A game of self-exploration. And he always spoke using the dragon character voice. He would say, Draco will hit you. Draco loves you, mommy. Draco bumped mommy's head. This is what the child used to say. He identified his own altered ego into a character from a YouTube baby channel known as Draco. And then instead of him, he will identify his ego with Draco and started doing conversation with the family members in these sentences. And when the mom said, yes, Draco bumped my head, but I am okay. He cried so much that he had to be restrained because he wanted to strike himself. 
One sees the great battle between good and evil and the confusion it creates. Draco makes him assume the role of a ruler, the one in command of his darker side, on which all the responsibility of this child is placed. Draco gave my patient the chance of living on the side of the power. So you saw a powerful character, violence, and then guilt. Whenever you come across these kind of situation, I promise you, this is nothing but a condition that requires anacardium in potency. This will cure the whole situation. There are even a time that my patient announced to his mom, Draco will bump mommy. When the mom replied, does Draco want to bump mommy? He said, yes. But then proceeded to hug her. The mommy told me this seems very schizophrenic to me. A dual personality of all sort. Jung referred to such a behavior as that of a child suffering from moral inferiority. So you saw, he wants to bump the mommy, but then the other side, he wants to hug the mommy. So typical, this kind of situation happens in schizophrenic personality. So this was as far as some of the delusions of anacardium, which needed an explanation from Jungian psychology. Now, the question is, why does the person behave like that? Why does the child behave like that? So the casualties. In homeopathic language, we call them ailments from or the causes. Why such thing? First is the parent domination. So the first important rubric is ailments from domination in children. The important remedy will be Staphysagria, Lycopodium, Carcinosin, Absinthinum, Hyosimus, Natremio, Nitric Acid, many remedies. Parental domination refers not only to that of natural parents, but also of any authoritative figures, including other family members, teachers, priests, gurus, and coaches. This is what I told you in the very beginning. Okay? As expressed by the cyber delusion, it is often only one of the parents who play the role of a devil. For instance, an alcoholic father, a mother who is a prostitute, an overly strict military father with a lack of feelings and flexibility. The superhuman being can also be a coach, a teacher, a guru who plays the father or model role who begins to impose his own set of distorted rules and the regulation. This happens in our society. It's so common. When the child says, I want to become a teacher when I grow old, and the father says, no, engineer. And he says, no, so loudly and so strongly that the child trembles, the child shivers. And this is how the child slowly comes into the control of super human being. With each step on the wrong path, it becomes more difficult to return to the fork in the road where a wrong decision was made. Anacardium's relative hardness delays the ultimate pathology for anacardium, which will be a late onset psychotic break with the appearance of schizophrenic state when the ego is overwhelmed by the contents of the unconscious. Indeed, in the case of anacardium, there is hardness and cruelty harbored deep down in the shadow side as a compensation for the conscious one-sided low self-confidence, as well as a disposition to malice, as even the slightest offense makes him excessively angry. Now, this is a very difficult slide to understand. So we will take step by step. So you understood that the person was under superhuman control. You understood that he had this kind of conflicts of the will in the previous slide. And if this situation continues, 
and he keeps on obeying the devil he becomes harder and harder emotionally most of the time and at a certain time he will develop a psychotic breakup or a schizophrenic state this is understood the next part of the slide what is the next plot that as he develops more and more and more hardness and cruelty in the mind in the unconscious mind of every human being there is a shadow side shadow side is that part of your psychology which you don't want to see which you don't want to look at it or looking at it brings lot of guilt and shame so there is hard heartedness there is built up of shadow in his unconscious mind and so as a compensation to this mechanism one slowly develops low self confidence or a low self image and as the time passes he becomes so malicious with anger his anger becomes so violent from slightest condition if you look at the rubric anger violence offense from slight there is only one remedy and that is anacardium now why is he so angry with a very small offense why look at his shadow if you look at his shadow then you have to look at the hardness in the heart if you have to look at the hardness of the heart you have to understand his delusions and if you want to know the reason why this has happened then it is a strong personality in his life what we call as influence under superhuman being so all these things are connected to each other if you really want to understand anacardium at a deeper psychology the term superhuman being can be relative for a weak chaotic confused person anyone is in a vulnerable position everyone out here looks for a superhuman or a giant don't you think a weaker human being can be easily dominated a weaker human being can be easily crushed and easily influenced and that is why they become chaotic confused vulnerable for a naive child with an undeveloped ego a parent or any adult with authority seems to be enormous proportions for a mesmerized follower a guru seems to attain gigantic dimensions and for the beginning homeopath a master homeopath seems to have a god like qualities that is why we have got so many gurus in homeopathy because this naive students who are very young who are immature can be easily come under influence of any homeopathic guru and starts believing in him whether they are right or wrong so be very careful don't become an anacardium student this relationship can be called dysfunctional in a balanced family no one enjoys dogmatic authority but only that authority to which he is entitled to by reason of his labors and abilities alas in anacardium case we often have pater familias do you know what is pater familias no so pater familias was a head of a roman family and it was the oldest living male in the household he had complete control over the family members the term is latin for father of the family the owner of the family estate the form of archaic in latin perceiving the old genitive ending in alas whereas the classical latin normal genitive ending was ae so the pater familias always as a roman citizen so here who will these are the people who will assert absolute cruel and unjust dogmatism and authority unchallenged by anyone so anacardium usually comes from the family which is ruled by 
a giant, strong grandfather, father, or anybody else. And they are the children who have been born and brought up in that situation. And if you want to read more about that, go to the internet and read about Peter Familias. It was a Roman culture where the head of the family rules everybody, a whole estate. And everybody has to bow down and follow what he says, whether right or wrong. Any child growing up in such a household will exhibit an inadequate persona. Definitely personality will not develop. It is a form of an obstructed personality in a person, a malformation of the persona or the formation of a pseudo ego in child or adult alike. It can take three forms. So now let us see. An inadequate persona can become either baraita, kab, or anacardium. An excessive persona in which the mask is formed to hide inadequacies, it will turn out to be lycopodium and silesia. Or identification with the persona. So what you think you are like that, you can turn into arsenic, sulfur, or veretramal. In which the person has become a persona, a lack of expanding one's interest to form one-sided, one-colored mass. But for the inadequate persona, as is the case with anacardium, the individual feels that he possesses no conscious, freely chosen, well-serving guidelines about his self-growth and direction in life. So anacardium has got no direction, no guidelines. He doesn't know where he is going and where he has to go and where he comes from. All the answer to these questions are not understood by an anacardium personality. His ego is emptied by libidial energy, the very source of life. He is convinced that no one believes anything he says is worth listening to, as it is always somebody else who makes decisions for him. In other words, the face or the persona that is presented to the outside world is in reality a face imposed and molded by others. It is the other person's face and not his face. Now here, a remedy known as alumina comes very closely to this feeling. And hence, many times with this kind of situation in life, the person feels that he is nobody. Somebody else has to decide for him. Somebody else has to think for him. He is just a puppet. Think of a remedy, alumina. The inadequate personality is he who looks into the mirror and poses the question, who am I and what is my name? Practically without much identity. So if you see rubrics related to identity and anacardium, you will see multiple rubrics in the repertory related to identity and uh, anacardium. So like delusion, confusion about his uh, identity or uh, delusion, he is uh, nobody, you can think in that way also. Or delusion, he is somebody else also, you can think in that term also. So in different way, anacardium can be represented the persona is the opposite of the shadow. Now, this is very, very important. That persona is the opposite of the shadow. The symbols of the persona appear in the dream. Now, see, if he cannot talk much in reality, everything will be reflected in the dreams. And what can come about, the, what can be reflected in the dream? The clothes, the hats, the dress, the uniform, the armor and the mask. They also may be expressed in awards, diploma, the characteristic of a profession or trade or a variety of status and symbols, stethoscope, wig, etc, etc. So, in the unconscious mind, there is a shadow which is ugly, which you don't want to look at, which you are ashamed to have. The exactly opposite will be your persona. Because since you don't want to look at your shadow, you will think exactly opposite to that. 
and this is happens in each and every remedy that you will study in homeopathic materia medica because after all it's a human mind when one appears in his pyjamas it means he has no persona since he is in the garment suited to the unconscious but persons with an adequate persona like anacardium often have a dream of appearing naked of feeling unprotected and vulnerable so look at the dream part of appearing naked so if you put the word naked and anacardium maybe you will find something in the proving of a uh, anacardium so if you look in one of the cases also which was reported in the year 1995 in homeopathic links there was a patient who received anacardium was very successful with the prescription he had a recurrent dream is walking in the road walking in the street totally naked so remember that being naked in a dream can also be a positive side it is when the person through either psychoanalysis or homeopathic remedies make progress his individuation process and now lets his guard down so to speak able to look at himself as he really is so it is a darker side it is a brighter side also depends on on psychoanalysis how do you find that kind of person an inadequate or false result of hereditary weakness or idiocy now when you are talking about hereditary we think of baraita kab and lufo as well as the formation of an inadequate persona through the neglect of the individual as in the case of hura brasiliasis lek caninum and lysinum there are many remedies in homeopathic uh, materia medica which has inadequate persona but these are the main ones the anacardium hura lek caninum and lysinum no matter what the etiology of this foreign mask is it will always lead to formation of individuals who are morbidly sensitive to criticism that is they are offended easily and demonstrate low self worth leading to a life of a great dependency on others in general we can say that anacardium state can be brought about mainly by abuse sexual abuse contradiction domination in children rudeness of others and violence but if you look at the rubric inadequacy feeling of you will see anacardium baraita digitalis lycopodium zincum in a very big way now the next causation so first causation we talked about strong people domination the second causation or rather say maintenance of such an anacardium state is supported by secondary elements from if someone in a child's life for instance always decides what she should do how she should dress what friends to choose what books to read who to socialize with then they develop severe anticipatory anxiety what will happen what will i do what will he say what will he think all these questions will come immediately to someone's mind so the severe kind of anticipation what will happen i refer here even to the parent who means well the child will be nothing more than a slave without a voice all decisions are taken without heart and purely according to the intellectual thinking that is lagos function of the conscious one of the first consequences in the child will be a high degree of anticipatory anxiety there is always anguish and apprehension as if imminent misfortune now this is what herring says there is always anguish and apprehension as of imminent misfortune why because he is so much nervous when he has to do something when he has to go some when he has to speak something where he has to do something where he has to travel all this will have lot of uh, anxiety he trouble himself about every trifle as if would cause great injury with solicitude about the future 
Anxiety about future is a known rubric in anacardium. Please remember, indeed paying attention to every trifle is crucial. Conscientious about trifle. Approval or disapproval is totally dependent on how well behaved this child can be. That is one her parents want her to be regardless of who she really is. The second, third important thing in the causation is ailments from contradiction. The child is contradicted in everything she wants, everything she does, or expresses it as does not conform to the master plan of the ruler of the house. So the child clashes constantly with the modus operandi of the parents. Parents want him to do something, child wants to do the opposite. You want to do something in your office, your boss will obstruct you. You want to do something in your organization, the committee will go against you. And when such things happen in life, you should take the rubric ailments from contradiction, therefore figure prominently in an anacardium picture. So whenever you are obstructed, contradicted by family, friend, organization, teacher, husband, wife, father, mother, etc., etc., think of anacardium. All too often an intellectual logos oriented parent, especially the one in thinking profession, such as scientist, lawyer, doctor, can impose his preferences on his child, who for instance may be naturally more inclined to the arts as she is feeling type eros and not the thinking type. Forcing someone to function in an archaic conscious function, that is the weakest conscious function, leads to many neuroses and future failures in life. This person may never find the meaning in his life. This is we have seen so much in carcinosin also. Parents forcing some profession to which the child has opposite feeling. These casualties stemming from the childhood will carry over into adulthood if there has been no appropriate therapy, counseling or homeopathic remedies were given. More often a situation has been created in which the individual is incapable of moving forward and the childhood crime often delegated to the unconscious translates now into adulthood into many compensations. The childhood crime has now created a dysfunctional adult who is in a worse condition than a defective child, an adult who always needs support from his immediate family member especially the mother. This person is unable to attempt to understand and develop the innate potentialities of his or her psyche. Somewhere along the road, such a person gets stuck, even unbeknownst to himself. So you saw, if a child is allowed to behave in this manner, slowly he turns into a dysfunctional adult. At that time, he needs a lot of support from the family or friends to bring him back to the original situation. But if such situations are not available, then it is very difficult for the person to come back. He gets stuck at a certain stage and he cannot take a turn back to normalcy unless you treat him with the right remedy. Okay, now let us see some contradiction in a different way. I refer here to conflicts between the parents in the presence of the child. One of the children in my practice became autistic because the father threatened to kill his wife in front of the child. Abuse your husband insulting wife before children. Such a child caught in the crossfire and frightened to death becomes confused as she loves both parents. She now becomes a split personality, choosing one parent one moment, then another the next. So abusive husband, insulting wife before the children, vice versa, think of remedies like anacardium, lachesis, veretrum album, please remember. Discords between the parents can make a child insecure. Discords between the parents can make child nervous, frightened, 
then slowly the child turns into a split personality of losing one of the parents. Even less traumatic events have led to infantile schizophrenia. For example, in the story of five years old Radha, whose father is a mistress and who heard her mother say, I will kill myself if he leaves me. This frightened Radha so much that from that moment on, just at the age at which the child tries to become separate from the parental ego and become more independent, the growth of her ego was harmed for several years with frightened momentary expression of dissociation. So you saw how this dissociation will come into play. And see here the father had an extramarital affair. And the mother said, if the father leaves me, I will kill myself. This is what the child heard. And after hearing this, the growth of the ego of the child was stopped for several years. It got harmed. So all these are small, small examples from my practice. This only worsened around puberty with flaring up of syphilitic miasm and deep descent into schizophrenia from which she recovered only years later. A similar situation can arise when the parents of a young child divorce. I remember the case of 15 year old boy whose parent had divorced when he was six years old. He was living with his mother. The breakup of his family at this young age had created such a confusion and guilt in him that he went from excessive coprolalia, coprolalia means swearing, obscene and lewd, to extreme violence and rage, smashing holes in the wall. See how these things get affected. So we now have finished the causation in the beginning, we studied delusion. Then the next part, we studied the causation. And now the compensation. Compensation means that with this kind of behavior, with this kind of situation, which anacardium is going through, how does he cope? Compensation means coping mechanism to survive. What are the coping mechanism of survival? The anacardium child, because of lack of control and disorientation, will easily and unexpectedly change from positive to negative compensation. Unlike most suffering children who resort first to positive compensation steps, one of the first victim of such a situation is anacardium's confidence. She will suffer greatly from lack of self-confidence under the constant control of the parent. So to lose self-confidence is one of the way of compensation from a controlling parents. You lose confidence. After some years, you will lose your identity. But if you lose your identity in one way, it is good. Because then you are under the good books of your parents. You are under the good books of the person who is controlling you. So better lose your identity. But losing identity is no good. Lack of self-confidence is no good. But at least you are happy that you are pleasing that opposite person. The lack of confidence is always a very deep pathology in anacardium. Baraita and anacardium are the most outspoken in that rubric. Remember that. With Baraita carb and undeveloped calcarea carb, there is dropishness of the mind from birth, hereditary miasmatic influences. Anacardium, on the other hand, suffers from domination from others or is overcome from too much mental effort by trying to prove himself to his parents in order to gain their love. This is what exactly happens. Goody two shoes, that is what we say in English language. Goody two shoes, image the child will project to his parents. Why? He wants to gain love. He wants to gain a good image in front of his parents. But then he has to lose many things in his life. Anacardium can have periods of the same shyness and lack of self-worth as Barait Takap as she walks on the street thinking that people will criticize her. At first, the anacardium child will try to overcome this through hard work 
knowing that he is capable of succeeding, trying to prove the parents wrong, and above all, trying to receive approval from the parents. Now here you will see a very good way of, positive way of compensation. Working very hard. Trying to prove yourself to the parent. If you can achieve that, nothing like that, the psychology will improve a lot. The will will improve, the confidence will improve. But this actually many times does not happen. The failure sets in that brings extra frustration in the life of the person. The continuous great demands put on her by others and herself as she tries to eradicate her inadequacy and prove to others that he is worthy of receiving love and approbation through increased hard work will eventually lead to the opposite undesirable state, aversion to mental work and ailments from mental exertion. So to prove himself, he will work, 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 all the time work, hard work, industriousness. But ultimately, a time may come when he may have aversion to mental work and any kind of mental exertion will aggravate the person. This is a child who will flee her homework and who has great anticipatory anxiety before the test. She cannot be persuaded to do anything. She has no pleasure in anything. There is indifference to everything, indifference to irritating, disagreeable things, to joy and suffering of others, to his religion and to pleasure. So if you see at the rubric of indifference in anacardium, it is indifference to so many things. So indifference, you can look as a three marks remedies. But joy of others, joy of others and to suffering of others, to religion. These are some of the rubrics which are covered by Anakarya. She is disinclined to talk and there is estrangement from individuals and society with fear of the future. There are bad effects from mental exertion as it brings on a tearing, pressing headache temples and occiput. You can see what a wonderful remedy Anacardium be for the students who are preparing for exams and suffering from great anticipation and anxiety with mental neurasthenia. So if you look at the rubric mental exertion, aversion, mental exertion, aggravate, impossible, mental power, loss of, you will see Anacardium. Paranoia and timidity. Anacardium's ego is assaulted step by step, enslaved to the ego of that superior being, the dominating person. So timidity and being stuck and obstructed are always on Anacardium's part. Timorous in all his action, he views everything more anxiously and timidly. He always thinks of being surrounded by enemies and has deep thoughts, meditating over his present and his future destiny. The future seems to him very dangerous as nothing were imminent but misfortune and danger. He has distress in his own power and suffers from despondency. This becomes a very vicious cycle for the Anacardium child. He wants to prove himself to others and to himself. But he has so little confidence in himself that he despairs of being able to accomplish what he demanded of him. No wonder such a child is easily left behind in the classroom. Because he has no confidence in himself. He is trying to prove himself all constantly. But finally he is a failure. <clears throat> Intolerance to contradiction. A strong feeling of inferiority is obviously at the bottom of anacardium neurosis. A clear case of Aldarian psychology in which the inferiority gave rise to power complex. For Adler, as seen in Anacardium case, the delusional system is masculine protest. Now this is such a famous pathology, masculine protest, a surviving for power to safeguard his threatened individual. So if you look at the rubric abusive, violent anger and blasphemy, 
these three rubrics will give you the meaning of masculine protest. You always strive to protecting or safeguarding your power. Why? Because of your inferiority complex. When one feels submerged in feeling of inferiority, one must have some compensatory reactions of superiority in which to take refuge. Unfortunately, this interplay between inferiority and superiority never results in a normal adaptation in life since either one state or the other must prevail. If a child fails to adapt to a new situation, he may be seized with rage to try to compensate for his sense of defeat. Pushed by an extremely painful conflict, his sense of inadequacy and incompleteness and his will to succeed, in spite of it, the child takes everything in an ill-mannered and becomes violent, passionate and contrary at the slight offense. He is very intolerant to contradiction. The rage emerges like a tsunami and just has to run its course. But then, a few hours later, Anacardium feels terrible about himself, guilty and despicable. Look at this sentences in Herring. Anxiety conscious as if guilty of a crime. Reproaches himself, delusion, he is demonical. And then, she can't even bear to look at herself in the mirror. Nothing is right, everything is wrong. And Anacardium is crying from inside. His behavior can also look more and more foolish. Extreme merriment and laughing when he should. He is serious, laughing about serious matter. Look at this rubric in the repertory, laughing at serious matter. An indication of sadness behind a mask. Anacardium can resort to continuous talking of senseless thing and use of profane language with swearing and thinking himself to be demon. So laughing at serious matters could be platina, lycopodium, natramure, oramure, natriotum. All these remedies come into play. In this use of profanity, we can recognize the unfortunate victim of Tourette syndrome. Irresolvable in allopathy cannot be treated in allopathy. Loss of control in his child is easily observed. A slight offense makes him extremely angry as he takes everything in bad part and becomes violent. It goes even to the point of want of mortal, moral feeling with depravity, inhumanity, wicked, cruel, hardness of heart. The later proving reflecting its own remedy name. This is seen in cruelty to animals and people. There's a very nice rubric, joy at misfortune of others. You will see arsenic, cuprum, lachesis, sulfur and anacardium in that particular rubric. Mental exertion also takes its toll on anacardium as his memory completely fails. Something he was dreaming all along. Her forgetfulness troubles her so much that she loses her appetite. He remembers with difficulty, he retains nothing in his memory, he is deficient in ideas and he soon loses his subject without being aware of it. His great forgetfulness makes him very morose. His memory is better in the afternoon than in the morning. So if you look at the rubric, weakness of memory, you will see so many rubrics which are represented under Anacardium. Anacardium is a great remedy for student who feels lot of pressure to succeed because of earlier unfounded criticism. When parents or teachers haven't acknowledged his worthiness, often comparing him to be a successful sibling, towards the end of the preparatory period, even before the actual examination, the Anacardium per person forgets everything he studied from sheer exhaustion and extensive efforts. His thoughts leave him and everything intellectual is hard for him. 
exertion of mind brings also on a tearing pressing headache in the forehead pressing headache in the temple and occiput he becomes very indifferent and unfeeling there is obtuseness of the senses as one he hardly notices what passes around him one recognizes easily the picture of some autism spectrum disorder in children i often have seen that the child aware of what his mental effort in school does to him starts feigning strong headaches in order to avoid going to the school so this thing can is also possible many children with headache migraine nervous headaches have a big problem in the school because they are not able to do mental exertion so they avoid going to school and when the school bus comes or the school bell rings they develop many times physical complaints at the end because of the failure of the memory his contradictory moods a profound inferiority complex a constant guessing about the course of action and failure of accomplishment due to constant disappointments and criticism the fixed idea everything appears as if in a dream now this is such a nice rubric everything appears in a dream why because that's the compensation i am a failure i have not done anything in my life i have so many disappointments i have not accomplished anything in my life so i have developed a fixed ideas everything appears as if in a dream it's showing the disconnection with the loss of control of his ego is created he feels as if his spirit was separated from the body contributing to continued confusion and return to his cyber delusion the mental schism from which he suffers finally the golden tip from my practice anacardium is a combination of lycopodium and nakswamika intensified that's my first thing anacardium is combination of lycopodium and nakswamika intensified etiology is humiliation and suppression much like staphysegria they are put down by society and wants to take a revenge religious fanatism like veretra mal number one remedy for tourette syndrome with swearing multiple personality syndrome excellent remedy for paranoid schizophrenia feels better when eating indicated in some cases of stomach ulcer mass murderers with auditory hallucinations mass murderers with auditory hallucinations so friend this was one way of explanation of a uh, anacardium now uh, let us see some explanation on the dreams so dreams of anacardium so the most important dream that you will keep seeing in anacardium is about the death 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 of the death dead people dead bodies delusion dead persons i have combined delusions and dreams together 
because we are going to understand the same symbolism of that that mother he himself is dead there is a dead corpse lying near him so death death and death what does it mean now here is some of the explanation according to freud and jung psychology most dreams about death are symbolic first of all you have to remember most dreams about death are symbolic that whether we are speaking literally or symbolically is a part of a life cycle birth death rebirth birth death rebirth sometimes that is also associated in the dreams with skeleton corpses and cemeteries most of the psychologists believe that the symbol of death is related to the rebirth that means you have died and now there is a rebirth in many of the patient which i have analyzed with this dream according to me the meaning of the death in the dream is end of suffering end of suffering but the other meaning of the symbolic word debt can also be debt of a friendship debt of a relationship when two people quarrel in the world the one will say not over my debt body we use this term when we are angry when we quarrel not over my dead body i will not see your face till i die we see that when we are angry but in general that means transition of one stage to another that is from death to rebirth remember that that dreams are very common when there is a psychological transformation major transition in life dead dreams are very common during period of psychological transformation and major transition in your life rejecting death hating it and fearing it only causes you to shrink back from life accepting it means having a mature perspective on life now when you see a dream of death or when you get a symptom from your patients ask following questions reflect on the symbolism of whatever or whoever died in your dead dreams what are your associations how do these association relate to your current attitude or state of mind is there any connection you can make so these are the areas where i probe when my patients are talking about dreams of death this is what jung want us to probe and not just take death as a symbol i uh would like here to talk about a case of carl jung he had a boy who came to him for psychoanalysis who had a constant dream of his father who is drinking lot of alcohol with a bottle in his hand walking on the road in the streets of a famous street falls down on the road collapses and maybe dies 
this was a very disturbing dream to the child. Child means he was an adult, maybe in his 25, 20, 25 years old was the age. Now his father was a very, very famous man, very famous clergyman. And his father never drank alcohol in reality. But these kind of dreams were very disturbing to the person and affected his psychology, developed sort of neurosis, came to Jung, had multiple sessions. He was very proud of his father. He used to respect his father. He used to look up to his father. Then why such dreams? So after multiple sitting of psychoanalysis, you made him understand that to drink a lot of alcohol and to get intoxicated is common in human society. To drink alcohol, feel intoxicated and fall down and collapse is also known and accepted in the society. This is very normal if someone drinks a lot of alcohol. He had a very high image of his father and somehow in his mind he always felt of the boy that my father is a hero, is a noble person, he cannot do anything wrong in life. And so because he cannot do anything wrong in life, how can he drink alcohol? And the worst thing is how can he drink alcohol and walk on the road? And how can he drink alcohol and walk on the road and get intoxicated? And then how can he drink alcohol, walk on the road, get intoxicated and collapse? No, this is not acceptable to me. Now, this was his thinking process. You made him believe that your father is a simple human being. And so, any negative qualities can come within anybody and show he should not have that image that my father is a god and cannot do anything wrong in life. The moment that image became blurred of his heroic father, the disturbing dream came less and less in the mind of the boy. And finally that boy was cured. Sometimes you dream of a dead people in the dream. These dreams give a strange impression of lived reality. It is not a visit to the land of the dead, but rather a form of denial of the disappearance where the dreamer tries to revive the deceased. Dreaming of a disease comes from a regularly after someone who know dies. Although this type of dream can be scary, it is a natural part of grieving process. So sometimes normal grieving process can also be like that. Sometimes you see dead persons in your dream. Why? Because in reality you are so attached to that person. And so you feel like communicating with those persons. And that is why also these things can happen. Now seeing that person alive in the dream. That can also happen. So that person who become alive in the dream. These are protective characters for the dreamer. Especially from the Deceased relative comes in the dream and X speaks or just stays there. It is a moment of comfort and a search to guide the dreamer. To dream of the news of his own death. So now, now you are dreaming your own death. Some important changes are going to come because I told you it is the transition or the transformation. If your death is very violent, it symbolizes heavy upheaval that may interfere unexpectedly in your life. If in addition to your death, you dream 
of your funeral, which many people are attending, this indicates that those attending you are waiting for chances, changes from you. This interpretation is also valid in the event that you are fatally injured and there is no one to assist you. You are indirectly invited to review your judgment and attitudes. Death of a parents or loved ones. Many times you will see this room. We all love our parents. We all love our loved ones. Again, this is an indication of great transformation in your life. It can refer to a desire to be more independent and to take charge of one's own life. Another kind of dream that you see very frequently in Anacardium is ugly face. Ugly face covered with pustules, ugly face covered with acne. This is a very repeated dream that you can see in Anacardium. Whenever a dreamer focuses on the face, it can be a message about keeping face or creditability. Generally, your appearance in the dream is way of exploring self-esteem or your self-image. If something on your face like pimple or acne diminishes your attractiveness, you may be exploring the idea that you are not expressing your true self or acknowledging your own beauty. Is living of an abyss, a steep abyss. Dreaming of an abyss is a sign of being of something. It is possible that you are in a difficult situation that has made you turn to vices. You are depressed and you don't think. Everything is telling you to snap out of it before you get yourself into more serious trouble. Another dreaming to the abyss. Dreaming of falling into the abyss warns you of sickness. You probably don't care for your health a lot and you always have more important things to do than to work out. You live fast, so your nutritional habits are the same. That will make your condition even worse. So it is possible that you'll have to go for a checkup or even into the hospital. Falling into the bottomless abyss, that's another kind of dream. Dreaming of a bottomless abyss is a symbol of great worries. If you own a private business which in debts, you are in big trouble. You will not be able to pay off your debts. While your partner will not be understanding of your situation, they want you to provide them with the quality of life they are used to of having. Such kind of worrying things in reality can invite these kinds of dream. Finally, dreams of fire. Fire dreams can often be a good thing. Fire means strong feelings, passion, your love. Fire can be a symbol of cleansing and coming to terms with old hurts. Sometimes fire dream may also meant as a warning that you are headed into a danger and need to be wary. Sometimes dreams of fire can be signifying that you have been consumed by something. Sometimes dreams of fire can also indicate a lot of anger and frustration within your own life. Then, as I said earlier, Anacardium has got many delusions. Hearing voices, distant voices, voices of dead people, voices that call his name, absent people. All these delusions are there. 
it is a kind of sensory experience but is it really a delusion i have a big question mark to say because honestly delusion hearing voices should be changed in the repertory to hallucination why because hallucination is an experience and when you hear a voice it is an experience whereas delusion is a belief this is a snake now this is my belief so it becomes a delusion snake but how can hearing voices be a delusion hearing voices i am sorry to say should become under the repertory of hallucination and unfortunately our repertory does not mention single rubric with the word hallucination so this is an auditory hallucination the voice can be neutral warm angry loving anything and such kind of hallucinations you will see in many alcoholics heavy drinkers alzheimers mental illnesses epilepsy drug addicts sometimes brain tumors situation of intense stress and high fevers like encephalitis but in psychological situation hallucination of hearing voices comes under bipolar disorder borderline personality disorder major depressive disorder post traumatic stress disorder and schizoaffective disorder then we have a very famous delusion of superhuman this is actually if you ask me it's a delusion of grandeur it clearly indicates that you are someone other than what you are such as a supernatural figure or a celebrity so when you are a superhuman you have special abilities you have special possessions you have special powers this indicates a severe mental health disorder so finally the last part of the lecture we want to explore the anacardiaceae family in general okay as dr farrington says that despite of the similarities there are so many great differences in the physiological action in fact the differences may be so great that in some points they may bring some of the members of anacardiaceae family into opposite relation to each other so this family produces both violent affection by slightest contact that's the first thing you should remember we all know rostox we all know anacardium the honey bee that feeds at the time of blossoming of this plant people who have increased intake of honey at such times are liable to be affected from an eruptions that resembles erysipelas and this believe me i have confirmed repeatedly in my practice people who consume lots and lots of honey in their practice or in their diet and then they have skin disorders think of a remedy from anacardiaceae family most of the remedies of anacardiaceae family predominantly affect the nerves spinal cord 
muscles, joints, bones, producing severe inflammation and paralysis of the muscle. The mental symptoms of anacardiacy family usually are nervous exertion, strong fear of being injured by the surrounding, aversion to people, extreme lack of confidence and mental restlessness. The following statements from the Repertory and Materia Medica are very important to learn. Calf muscle tension. So the word tension comes in many anycardiacy family remedies. Muscles are too short. Sensation of pressing. Sensation of constriction. Sensation of a band. Sensation of a plug. Sensation of a hoop, sensation of the bend around the parts, as if the parts are bandaged. These are the common words in the remedies that belongs to anacardiacy family. So constriction, tightness, bend, plug, stiff, cannot move and restriction. Feeling as if you are stuck and you want to move constantly. Now the opposite would be motion ameliorates that you will see in Rustox. Caught, stiff, tight, tension, stuck, cramps, pressing are common sensations. Stuck wants to move constantly. Motion ameliorates, aggravation sitting, sedentary aggravates, aggravated in the house, pain on beginning to move and then finally restlessness. Paralyzed and immobile is a passive reaction to many anacardiacy family. The compensation will be always on move, motion ameliorates. Dr. Rajan Shankaran's miasm can be represented in anacardiacy family as typhoid miasm, rustox, ringworm miasm, rust venata, malarial miasm, rust radicans, psychosis, mangifera indica, cancer miasm, anacardium, homocladia, and rust glabra is leprosy miasm. So, for those who follow Shankaran's method, these are the miasms which are represented in anacardiacy family. The other remedies that belong to anacardiacy family are kopi tree, rus aromata, rus diversi loba, shinkus mole, and anacardium oriental. So again, the keywords are stuck, tight, glass, cramp. Drap, grass, plug, restricted, rigid, and trap, inelastic, immobile, jam, wedge. Opposite will be motion ameliorates. So the following words are very, very sentences important in the patient. Body is stiff. I am trapped. I can't move. No matter I, what I do, my efforts won't help. I have stiffness. I can't move. I can't move because I am so stiff. Stiffness, tight, caught, can't move. All this kind of can't move, stiffness, trapped, all these are very common sensation. And this you will see in so many cases of arthritis. And that is why the stocks comes up as a very common remedy in many rheumatic and arthritic condition. There is another very nice remedy belonging to anacardiacy family that is comocladia. So in clomocladia, there is a flow and then with the flow there is a 
stand still and that is not progressing so you can stuck up even at the level of psychology no thoughts coming no feelings coming stand still this happens in cases of depression with no hope no ray of hope dead end full stop they have to struggle a lot but there is no progress some of the worst cases of depression can be treated with comocladia please read the mental symptom of this remedy you'll understand what i'm trying to mean so differentiation of anacardiaceae family with other families if you want to look out it anacardiaceae family will be characterized by caught and stiff not able to move jammed the compensation would be move free moment amelioration from moment and the moment is usually restricted that is the core differentiation of anacardium from every other botanical family expression in patients are seen in stiff tight caught stuck we have already seen this being sedentary aggravates that's so characteristic of anacardiaceae family and last differentiation with crucifera family where the free flow is obstructed and blocked that's what i was talking about huge stone blocking the flow of liver that is characteristic of crucifera family liquid is trapped in the bottle something is jam restricted and not able to move so crucifera family comes very close to anacardiaceae family we eat so many cruciferous vegetables do you remember this is how you differentiated now uh, let us see let us understand a very common remedy some common symptoms between baraita and anacardia many students in my lecture always ask me why anacardia and baraita share very closely there are some common features both are very absent minded remedies both have got ailments from anticipation both have got anxiety with fear concentration confidence confusion but they share a very nice rubric delusion succeed they cannot and they do everything wrong they have fear of people they have got fear of people they are frightened very easily there's a feeling of helplessness key resolution cannot remember the words very slow and suspicious because of these symptoms they are very close to each other but then how will you differentiate them so now let us see those symptoms which are there in baraita cup but never in anacardium never first is baraita cup always gets affected by death of loved ones because they are so dependent on the person with whom they are living death of a friend death of a parent the second important cause that differentiates baraita cup from anacardium is embarrassment of being mocked 
of being bullied. They are extremely health conscious and afraid of their health to the point of hypochondriasis. They are very awkward and bashful. Baraita Kaab. Remember that. And they usually hate company. Baraita Kaab are never there in people where there are crowd. Extremely cowardice. Very sensitive to criticism. They always feel people are laughing at them. People are making fun of them. They have got a strong fear that somebody will break relationship with them. If it's a married person, fear of divorce. If you look at fear of divorce, you will see Baraita Kaab. And they are extremely irresolute in their act. Extremely in irresolute. And irresolution becomes extremely worse in their projects, in what they want to do in life. They feel offended very easily. And this is what I know about Baraita Kaab, which cannot be there in Anacardium. Now the thing that can be in Anacardium and which can never ever be in the Baraita Kaab is violence, abusive, domination, these are some strongest feature, blasphemy. These are some strongest feature of phenacardium. Contradiction, disposition to contradict, intolerant contradiction. And then that famous delusions of devil, 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 devil. Division, divided, double, depravity, <coughs> despair. Forsaken feeling, very strong in Anacardium. Nobody loves me and hatred, cursing, swearing, maliciousness. This is what you will see in Anacardium which will never be there in Baraita Kaab. So my friends, I think so we can talk a lot, but we have to also solve some questions. So let me go back and to the chat section. Start posting your question because okay. Hi everyone. Use chat function to ask question. No sound. I can hear all right. Check your PC settings. Sound is a bit strange, like coming through a pipe. <laughs> Petroleum and what together remedy can someone assist? Now I don't understand this question. Petroleum and what together remedy? So let us see some common symptoms of petroleum and anacardium. This is very important because petroleum and anacardium comes very close. So please let us understand. Okay. Can you please write down slowly common symptom of petroleum and anacardium? Both are abusive. Both are ailments from anticipation. Both have violent anger, both have confidence lack of, both have cursing, both have delusion of being double, divided. Eating ameliorates is there in both the patients, especially the mental symptoms are better. Both have got maliciousness. Both are lazy, obstinate. Now these are the mental symptoms. Now where do you think only of petroleum and not... Uh, you only think of petroleum and not uh, anacardium. So first important thing of petroleum is anger with anxiety and fright. Anger after insults. Anger after loss of position. 
there is a big 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 chapter of alcohol with petroleum lot of petroleum people need alcohol alcoholism petroleum has got lot of alzheimer's type of symptoms they refuse to answer they answer irrelevantly they have strong anxiety for others and family they have strong anxiety if they smoke tobacco but remember they are very clairvoyant petroleum children petroleum patients are very clairvoyant they have confusion like anacardium but confusion is more with migraine remember that confusion is more after smoking after tobacco consumption confusion is more after drinking wine they have pre sentiments of death remember that and they have got strong fears even though it is known that they have ear voices like uh, anacardium but the biggest fear is poverty robber debt these are some of the fears very forgetful people so petroleum are very forgetful and they are extremely jealous now this is something very unique jealousy with weeping you will see petroleum malicious with anger you will see and manish habit of girls you will see petroleum so this is exclusive petroleum now exclusive anacardium in comparison to petroleum this is also very important to understand anacardium are very abrupt again insulting husband insulting the wife husband quarreling with the wife domination all those things comes up very strongly black that is very strong delusions of devil that you know speaking in one ear angel in another but anacardium are very fastidious as compared to petroleum four second feeling is very strong four second feeling is very very strong hatred injustice cannot support memory weakness for proper names loss of memory after a stroke is anacardium so and religious affection too much affected with the religion okay so i explain you beraka ka by explain you petroleum thanks a lot does he mean the person is under the control of someone who is called superhuman control no i explain to you who is superhuman he could be your parents teacher the life coach your own homeopathic doctor your relative thank you for presentation how have no remorse and experience guilt so yeah these are the polarities on one hand there is he when he is become violent he is no remorse he is he has no feelings he is very hard hearted but after the violence after the act is over the guilt comes is the violence always physical or it could be verbal both question jessica robinson this discussion makes me wonder how about the etiological effect of too much screen time being immersed in a control and potentially dark fake world desperate from the real world what are your thoughts please yes i agree to some extent you are right uh, jessica i i agree with you but can't help it this is a totally materialistic world that we all live in and that is why you need to balance your emotions and stay calm can we can also woman hard to spot sometimes divi peter famillas can be also woman uh, i don't know in the in the psychology peter famillas means a man they are not describe a woman so far so i really don't know is the violence always present in anacardium not necessarily 
we can see the other image also of severe loss of confidence and nervousness also can i ask if a cleat is exposed to constant of his domination but the parents will not want to change will anacardium help to be less affected yes of course it will surely help what is meant by cyber insecurity not cyber delusion not insecurity could i ask is the two hours webinar is that two hours webinar? would you prescribe anacardium if a mental picture is there there is a problem with joints but the patient is more lazy than restless yes of course the mental picture is there you can prescribe what is the main difference between anacardium petroleum i have explained to you thank you very much dr farooq wishing you everyone happiness and success very nice presentation many thanks gratitude answering all it is 1654 you still have 4 minutes anybody wants to ask questions still hello does anacardium have dreams of naked men coming at her no any more questions from my friends yes how to dissipate anacardium in a speechless child who is not violent you have to ask the mother and the parents for more symptoms thank you so much okay so thank you very much for all the attention that you all gave me thank you to the school of homeopathy thank you to mani and his colleagues and thank you to everyone in the audience god bless you may you all succeed love you all bye